Good morning, happy travelers. Today is our first morning on Colipe. We arrived yesterday. Enjoying this island paradise. This is a tiny, tiny little Thai island and it's super laid back. So I think just like walking around and enjoying the beach and the vibe is, is on the menu. The sun has finally officially come out. It's been kind of cloudy this morning. So we're gonna go down to the water and see. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> this might be one of my favorite places we've ever visited. Yeah, it's pretty nice. We took a few photos and in just like 10 minutes became completely drenched in sweat. But the water is amazing and you can just jump in at any time. So I guess it's not that bad. We've come just around the corner of the beach to a little secluded section of rocks and a little cove by the Ten Moons Resort. I think we're just gonna hang out in the shade and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful water. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I can tell. We're just eating lunch at the Ten Moons Resort, which is considered one of the best resorts in Colipe. But their beach is really awesome, yeah. yeah. Can't be the view. We got a giant water, of course, but also I got a fresh juice. I didn't realize it was gonna be frozen, but this is called the Apple Berry Lush. Strawberry, carrot, and apple. Ooh, so refreshing. I don't normally get fresh juices, but this sounded really good. We got pineapple fried rice with chicken and pork pad thai. I'm scared. First trip that we ever took together was in Thailand about nine years ago. We had only been dating for three months and we both got food poisoning. You get to know somebody really, really quick when you get food poisoning with them, especially after three months of dating. The dish that we got food poisoning off of was pad thai. Kelly has not tasted pad thai since, but she wanted to give it a go. I've struggled with Thai food in general, so this is uh, scary for me. <laughs> We are feeling so relaxed after lounging on the beach and eating some food. And we're just gonna keep this vibe going and we're gonna go and get some massages. Thank you so much to the people who watch these videos because our tropical content does really, really well on this channel. And that is a perfect excuse for me to convince Kevin to come <laughs> to these places. <laughs> Seeing as how it was so difficult to get here and this trip was sort of my idea, I'm gonna have to agree to go someplace like Norway or some other cold place. We need to balance it out with a Kevin trip too, so that, that'll probably be coming sometime this year. No, I really enjoy being here too. This is awesome. We're on the hunt for a massage. At the resorts, they're like maybe 18 to $20 for an hour, but if you go outside the resort, they're like maybe 10. We like to opt for the massages with oil because the regular Thai massages are a little violent. <laughs> they kind of hurt. So if a resort isn't your thing, there are tons of budget places to stay on the island, even though the resorts aren't expensive by American standards. They are expensive by Thai standards, but you can stay at a cheap guest house or a hostel here and the island's really small, so you're never far away from the beach, so. And there's tons of places to eat for cheap, tons of local places, so you can definitely do Colibe on a budget very easily. We decided to head over to the Walking Street, which there's quite a few massage parlors there. They're all about the same price. That might be the best massage I've ever had, and it was $13, and I just forgot my shoes. Oh yeah, another Thai thing that I don't think we've mentioned yet is that most places, they expect you to take your shoes off before you come in to like restaurants, or in this case, the massage par parlor. They're the, uh, loosey-goosey. I know. Seriously, that place, 
soy buri massage on the walking street. That was like better than $90 massages I've had in the United States. It was so good. So we're definitely gonna be going back there tomorrow. The street has quite a bit of activity going on. There's lots of tattoo shops, places to eat. There's different spots that book transportation, give you some information on the ferries and whatnot. There's like a medical clinic down there too. So kind of your go-to for everything you need, really. Ooh, a dog. Hi, dog. This dog does not care. Uh, I'm seriously like in a daze from that massage. Don't, don't even know. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just live here now. I don't think we're going back to California. This is, this is home now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay. Yep. Yep, sounds good to me. We walked to the north end of the island to check out the beach up here and another beach bar. This one's all made out of driftwood. It looks crazy. It's called Zodiac. It's pretty cool. I don't know if they have a happy hour, but it's a pretty cool looking bar. We took a Colipe taxi just now. There aren't many actual vehicles on Colipe. I've seen like a couple of trucks. They seem to be like they're all owned by different properties. Yeah, the resorts. So the Colipe taxis are kind of like a motorbike rickshaws, except the part you sit in is off to the side. So you're like yeah. in a sidecar almost. It's like a sidecar with like room for luggage almost. And we were up at the very north end of the island and wanted to come back to our resort and we didn't want to walk, so we paid, what was it, like less than $3? Yeah, 100 baht to get all the way across the island. Walking would take you maybe like 20, 25 minutes. So now we're back at our home resort and we're gonna go down to the beach bar for happy hour. Kelly has to stop and pet every single cat that she sees, and there's a lot of them. Right here. What am I supposed to do? Not pet this cat? After our massages, when we went up on our little walk, we kind of went up to like Zodiac Beach, and the vibe wasn't as nice as down here, to be honest. It was like a little more like clubby music, and it just wasn't as relaxed as down here. I feel like this is like a little sleepier side, and I absolutely love it. So I'm kind of happy that we came back down here. The most well-known beaches on Colipe are Pattaya, Sunset, and Sunrise. There are other smaller, lesser-known beaches that don't have the big resorts on them, but we're staying on the Sunrise side, which we heard was the nicest beach and had some of the best hotels. Pattaya is where the ferry and the speedboats come in, and Sunset is a really small beach. If you want a lively place with a lot going on, Pattaya is where the walking street ends, so there's a lot going on there. But so far, we've loved the vibe of sunrise and I'm happy to stay here this whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We were enjoying ourselves quite a bit here, so we just decided to have dinner right here at our home resort. They serve a bunch of different types of food here, Western food, Thai food, and today we decided to go for a pizza and a burger. We've been eating a lot of Thai food recently, so that just sounded good tonight. And we were able to get some more happy hour wines. That's good. Sometimes I just need a burger. So apparently on Saturday nights they have a fire show on the beach here. And judging by the music that just came on, I think it's starting. That's going to be it for this one, but thanks so much for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this is Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. We're on West Rayleigh Beach, a place you can only get to by boat.
Careful. Oh. Made Kevin go first so he could hit the spider webs. Clear them out of the way for me. <laughs> oh, thanks. So we've come down here on the walking street, which is kind of the main street right through the island to get some Thai massages. This isn't the walking street. Are you sure? Oh. She's been correcting me for nine years. Almost ten. Hello! Oh, hello! 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 Hello!